For this color and texture of marble, I'm using titanium white, yellow ochre, burnt umber, and Mars black acrylic colors. I start out with applying a thin layer of light yellow, making sure that there is a lot of water on my brush. Even though the plaster of the sculpture is completely dry, the paint tends to soak into the surface a bit on the first layer. I then slowly start adding darker values with burnt umber in just a few places here and there. I use a soft bristled brush to subtly blend and soften the values, but the trick is not to blend the colors completely together. You still want to be able to see some of the shapes and contours of the marble texture. To pull out the organic veins that make marble unique, I use a small brush to render thin lines and then use the soft brush again to soften the lines. This actually needs to be done with multiple layers to achieve a natural marble finish. In another layer, I use pure white along some of the lines to create contrast in parts of the marble. And again, using the soft brush just to soften some of those areas. I vary the darker lines throughout the sculpture, some thicker and some thin. I actually recommend using an image of a piece of marble as a reference to get a sense of the details as you get started. But you can be creative with how you imagine the texture of the marble would look if it was real. I repeat this layering process on all parts of the sculpture, trying to make the marble look organic, natural, and consistent, as if the sculpture was chiseled from a solid block. 